Hey guys, recently I've gotten some comments on a video I made in 2014 of how to back up your computer with a Seagate hard drive. Right now I've decided to make another video going into further detail of what the Seagate dashboard does and some of its features, but in my other video I didn't really go into that much detail. So. I'm going to uh, minimize this and open up Seagate Dashboard and I'll be right back. Alright, so if you want to back up your PC, you would just click here, PC Backup. On your first backup, it might bring up this screen or it might ask you to make a new backup. Do whatever it says, but if not, just click up Backup Now and it will back up continuously, which means that as long as your device is plugged in, it will keep backing up. I would recommend you back up your computer at least once a week and at the most maybe multiple times a week and that way you have your computer all backed up in case you get infected. So that's how to back up your PC. You can also use Seagate Dashboard to back up your smartphone or tablet or iPad or anything like that. You would just click mobile backup and it will back up to the cloud. I think this add cloud button is related to the mobile backup. You can also save your social media by just clicking social. And on the home screen, last but not least, you've got the restore button, which lets you restore to the latest version that you backed up. And that's in case you get like infected or your computer is not working properly, something like that. Now let's go into the backup uh, external hard drive. You've got some options. You can register this device. You can also view the files that are on it. And it shows you the amount of space that's, that's on it, the amount of space that's already taken up. And you've got the serial number and the firmware version. This information can be very helpful. Under the Manage tab, I feel like the most important feature is the drive test and this just make sure that your device is working properly but it's if it's not you can always return it if it's under warranty or you can get a new one and you can make sure that the drive test is passed you can also generate thumbnails for your videos I don't feel like that's too important but if you're interested go right ahead you can also manage your LED lights on the drive itself and there might be a small reason why you'd want to do that. I don't really know for sure yet but there's this option there for you in case you want to do so. You can also change the power option. Uh, after five hours you can uh, make this device go into sleep mode and the first time you back up your computer with this drive it might take many hours but let's say it's your second or third or so on time that you're updating your computer you can just choose like five hours and then it will stop backing up after that time you can also use this device for default backup I assume that might mean like you have multiple backup devices plugged in you, you can choose one to use as, a, as the default backup device finally I find this really helpful even though I've never used it uh, you can use the support part of this to contact Seagate. You can choose your country. Uh, you can submit an email case, phone number. You can see what languages they speak in. And you can see their hours and the days that they're available. So if you're having problems with your external hard drive or the application itself, ask me. But if I can't help you, you might want to try this support tab right here. Alright, so we're back at home. Next is the settings part of this. For the features, you can change your language. You can also enable a shortcut desktop icon. You can also see the logs that are being made. You can see what's happening between the external hard drive and the computer. It shows you like what's going on, uh, when, it, w when it backs up your hard drive. Uh, what day it starts backing up, how many files are backed up, and uh, the size, 
and the result. Finally, in this program, you have the updates section in the, of the Seagate dashboard. You can make sure your um, application is up to date. I recommend checking like once a week or every other week. You can decide what to do for that. And if you're just wondering how to use the program, and if I didn't mention something, you can just show help, and uh, it will. You can choose whichever one suits your question or your problem. And you've also got these other options right here. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll put two links to install the Seagate dashboard and for the hard drive in case you're interested. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.